You know what that means. Some good old subscriber mail. Hello fellow doll lovers, Barbie Nation here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. My name is Arian, aka Barbie Nation, and what I do is I collect dolls, I play with dolls, I talk about dolls, and every now and then I give them a super cute makeover. So if you're into anything cute, sweet, and petite, definitely subscribe to my channel to get some lovely pastel glitters on your feed. Now let's get into today's subscriber mail. Here we go. So it is time again for some lovely subscriber mail and these boxes are just the cherry on top for me. This is why I make all of these fun videos for you and I just love the attention and details in these boxes and of course, what's inside. <laughs> This time it is again from Andrew, so you know what that means. Andrew does the most amazing boxes, and if you have been following my channel for a while, you know. You know. Yeah, so I am really excited to see what's in this box today. He did tell me that the theme of this box was enjoy the little things. Hmm. Now, I am a sucker for anything that's super small, and I just really love that whole tiny miniature stuff. I'm a big fan of Remant. I don't know if you know that, but that's these are like these little small um, Japanese miniature boxes, and they have theming from Sanrio to miniature item foods. And actually, lately, I'm also very much into the mini brands. And yeah, I just discovered them actually through the mini fashion balls that came with these super fun and fierce purses with uh, the makeup brushes and all. And they actually have some very cute themings. They have like a whole Disney store a miniature section. They have mini toys and it is just all so super fun to use for your Barbie dioramas or other doll lines. Basically any one six scale doll can use these miniature items. It is just too cute for words. I am living for it. So who knows what's inside this box? Um, yeah. So let me just kind of like prepare it to open the lid and I'll be right back. Okay, so the top lid is open and I'm ready to jump into this dolly delightfulness that's inside. Now, if you know Andrew's boxes, he is always super on point with his theming and I'm expecting some color in there and yeah, let's just go. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at all of these cutouts. On top. I just love this. 
Look at this fun, bright package. Who does not want to get a package like this? What a fun, colorful, super happy, bright gateway into Dolly Heaven. Ah, oh. okay, so two cards. I don't know which, I don't know if there's an order, but this one has my name on it with super cute stickers on it. So I'm just gonna read this first. And it is closed with a unicorn lid. He used pictures of my Instagram. Now that is cute. This is my mini me on holiday. <laughs> and look at the back of this. Wow. You made this so lovely. In a Barbie world of fashions, there needs to be a world of accessories. Accessorize in good health and love. Aryan, wishing you all the best. Andrew from Canada Land. Oh, so this is gonna be like an accessory haul. Living already. Loving tiny stuff, loving accessories for Barbie. And this was inside the card, which is, I think, a 90s or maybe 80s booklet of Barbie fashions. I live for these booklets. You know the ones from Fashion Avenue from the 90s? Those were just the best. But this one, look at all of these fashion looks. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can find a year on this. Illustrations, Mattel Inc, 1983. Wow. So 1983, you guys, yes. With that signature 80s Barbie logo, oh, I just, I'm gonna have a moment with this later. <laughs> okay, so this second envelope has, oh, a bunch of cards. He printed the thumbnail of my top 10 Barbies in my collection <laughs> as a picture. Oh my gosh. So these are like 80s Barbie cards, I guess. They look so super fun. Look at this van over here. This is some serious Barbie history here with Malibu Barbie and Ken and Skipper and that super 70s van. <laughs> oh my gosh, who had this van? It even explains on the back, duh, what it is and from and where it's from and what year and whatnot. So this van is actually from hometown Willows, Wisconsin to beautiful Malibu, California, Barbie, travel in style. Groovy features of the 1974 Barbie beach bus included pop art imagery of colorful waves and rainbows, a super cool sunroof and a back panel that opened to reveal a kitchenette. This was the perfect van for Barbie and Ken to go on California beach adventures. Yes. The Barbie townhouse, also from 74. And this is a beauty center styling head. Okay, so I'm gonna make my way. To first, get all of this confetti off. These rainbow ribbons. There's not a workout that can compete with the level of endorphins that are released while opening a box like this. Saxophone music player fashion pack. And there were some very cute headphones in there. They have a star and like a little wing. I'm already, yeah. This is the level of cute that I really love for my dolls. Okay, wow. This is actually, is this, this is from the Barbie Looks Ken doll. I think it is. I love his outfit. <laughs> and this is from the other Barbie Looks Ken doll, the buff guy. So his super pastel trainers. I love this for the closet of my mini me. And his color blocking shirt. Super sporty. Oh, wow. This fashion pack, super cute. It looks so 70s. I love actually the neck line of this dress. Looks really cute. Another Malibu palm tree dress 
you know what? I am living for these Ziploc bags. I use them practically for every little piece of Barbie accessory that I have and they're so convenient. It really is a shame that they have stopped using these. So this comes with a yellow headband and a pink kind of like see-through bag and I really love the pack. And I have never seen these actually. So here's another cute look. Um, this really looks like it's for a curvy girl. So that's nice because we need more outfits for our curvy girls. It has a cute flower top with jeans as a bottom. And she has this pink choker. Love it. Oh. <gasps> I saw this at my doll hunt and I didn't buy it and I was totally regretting it while I was editing that video. I was editing myself, grabbing this fashion pack, thinking like, why didn't I get it? I guess it was meant to be because this cow moment over here, I love it. It is pastels with a cow print all over it. How cute. With some little cowboy boots, I just, it is so super fun, super fun fashion pack. And this was the other one I was holding while I was doll hunting. <laughs> That's so... This looks really cute. Also a cute uh, bottom piece for curvy girls, actually. Yeah. Loving, loving. So much. Moving on. This dress with the flip-flops <laughs> and the ribbons as a spaghetti strap. I just... Oh, gosh. Cute. Just cute, cute. I'm already so happy with these fashion packs. Level two. No, you did not. Oh my gosh. And this mermaid tail for Ken, the buff Ken, this material feels so nice and so fishy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the details on this mermaid tail with these extra pieces of fin at the side. Oh, I am stunned. Wow. And really, these little bits and pieces of his armor. This is such a nice, shiny, rose gold kind of like color. Oh, wow with his necklace and his crown and his arm sleeves. You just got me the whole look of a King Ocean Ken. Wow. That is just... <sighs> yeah, like I mentioned, Andrew does what Andrew does best, and that is sending some kick-ass packages. He's actually a Ken collector at heart, so he has a lot of Ken items. I guess he had a spare King Ocean Ken outfit that he could miss, so... Crazy! So many stuff! So, miniature sushi food. <gasps> miniature Asian food, I love this. This is... <laughs> with, with a text piece inside that says totally tiny. <laughs> That's so adorable. So it has like steamed buns, dim sum, uh, fortune cookies, soy sauce, um, egg rolls, chopsticks. Yes, loving it. And a fun fashion pack for Ken, loving this tank top. It is kind of like a salmon pink with a darker jean, white sneakers, super cute. Oh, I love these kind of like mixture bags. Let's see what's inside. I think these are creatable world items. Look at that. They had such nice pieces of fashions in those packs, really. This little shirt, so adorable with the zebra. Cute little army print, mini skirt, even the jeans look really nice with like an actual button on it, um, working pockets, yeah. And I think they actually go for pretty cheap prices now, so if you have a chance to pick one of those creatable world dolls up, definitely do because 
I mean, even this pilot jacket, it, it has really nice material and it's very well made. Okay, so an older fashion pack. Wow, this is such a cute summer cocktail dress with these flowers on it. And let's see what year is this. 2015. They feel like yesterday, but this is already 2015. Oh, can you believe it? Oh, and this is another Creatable World set. This is so cute. This cute little bathing suit with this fluorescent bag. I am living for this beach bag. And I was really after that uh, Creatable World swimwear set. It, I never saw it in stores over here in Europe. I don't know my fellow Europeans if you ever spotted it, but I haven't spotted it on Amazon here or in stores. So I'm really happy. Thank you. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Mini brands. I'm trying to make my way. Another Creatable Worlds fashion bag. Oh, this denim jacket with the shiny shimmery sleeves. Another fantastic pair of jeans. This adorable summer straw hat. And it looks like really nice. It feels really nice as well. More totally tiny food. So this one has a pizza and a loaf of bread, tomato sauce, some lime juice. Oh, fun, fun, fun. I am just, I love miniature food. Now, what is this? Do you have a, so he's from Canada and I, I always see people in America uh, get these, I think at Savers or something. They always thrift at stores and find these bags with super cute dolls in them. Is there a Savers in Canada? Anyway, it looks like a Mycene themed bag. So let's, let's open it up. So we have a Madison that's really been through it. <laughs> Her hair is yikes. I'm curious to see if I will be able to save her. Now, who is this tiny little cute? Is this a Lottie doll? Lottie? Lottie. 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 <laughs> I don't know. She is tiny and really adorable. Look at that sweet little face. Maybe the 90s Stacy scale. Yeah. She has a really adorable face. Look at that little cutie patootie. And in there, there's also a squished Noli. <gasps> I'm always mixing up their name. Is it Noli or Chelsea? I think it's Chelsea. But her head is like totally squished, as you can see. Like her head has been between two very heavy walls. I wonder if I can get her head into normal proportions again. More tiny food, cakes, coffee, and just yummy things that just really taste well with coffee. <laughs> Another bag of Creatable World outfits. This one has a really cute bucket hat, actually. A very fun red kind of like blazer jacket. A rainbow striped skirt. Another super nice denim blouse. So, more food. I'm guessing English breakfast because it has like toast and butter, bacon, and what's behind there? Some fried eggs and jam and pancakes. And here we have another one that has nachos. I think these are churros, an avocado, and some tacos. And look at this. This is like a unicorn cake Barbie with like other snacks, lollipops, and plates. I've never seen this accessory pack before. Oh, it actually comes in... Look at this unicorn Barbie cake. Oh, this looks so cute. With these very pastel Barbie drinks. Oh my gosh. Never seen it before. Loving it. This is wild. <laughs> More food. We have pretzels, 
chicken and dip, uh, popcorn, chocolate, and a soda. So this is definitely movie theater snacks. Oh, world's smallest. I love this. This is the 70s Barbie dream house with a miniature totally hair Barbie in it. And I actually have the version with the number one Barbie. And they now also have this uh, world's smallest like trunk that Barbie used to had. It was this fashion trunk that you could put your dolls in and your clothes. And they also made a world's smallest of that. <gasps> so adorable. <gasps> world's smallest totally hair Barbie. It even comes with a doll stand. Collect them all, it says. Oh, wow. So these are in, these also come in the number one Barbie and I think the astronaut and probably Malibu Barbie, but there's a sticker on it that covers the other two. But I'm guessing Malibu and astronaut Barbie. I really am loving it. I love that she has this, like, this stand Ah, accessory pack with this star-shaped balloon. So many fun items. This is definitely like a summer festival fashion pack because it has like this, this wind thing and, and actually tickets to a carnival. Super cute. And look at this fashion pack. Also adorable. It has all the colors that I love. Also, again, looks like it could fit a curvy girl very cutely. More accessory packs, yay! Look at this one. This one has uh, this alarm clock in the in this kitty shape. Adorable. A kitty purse, a pillow, a drink cup or teacup with a ribbon on it. So freaking cute. Now this is. Oh, wow. This is all pastels and has the cutest little items. This little tote bag here even has like these printed on charms on it. Lavender heels, uh, a pastel blue headband, <laughs> an ice, an ice cream translucent bag, a strawberry bag, heart-shaped glasses and teal. Living. Really? Ooh. Okay, so she looks like a summery kind of gal. Who is she? I have never seen her before. Love her shorts. Love this top. She has like this lime or pistachio ice cream in her hand and she just looks really adorable. Oh, this is the Dream Ella like extra iconic or something. They actually look really cute. These are some extras that she comes with, but I have to say, I really might need to explore the other ones because she actually looks pretty darn cute. I've never seen them in stores over here. I don't know if you guys have, but... And these fashion pieces actually are quite adorable. They really do have like a rainbow high vibe. I mean, real zippers, uh, of course not in the skirt, but it's real like that metal material. And this sports top. Not a super fan of their heads, to be honest, but their looks are amazing. And these shoes look really nice. And of course, Andrew wouldn't be Andrew. <laughs> look at that bag with this fruits on it, heart-shaped glasses. Oh my gosh. Pastel pink hair, a cherry gingham dress. She looks super cute. Look at those shoes with those little socks. She actually has some really good details. Earrings. Okay, Ella, extra iconic, really caught me by surprise, seriously. <laughs> She looks so adorable. I love her soft makeup. 
She's adorable. Look at this little Chanel bag. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> and look at this queen. Okay, so she is giving me, like, Barbie Extra meets a Generation Girl Barbie. The dance party version. With those shimmery, um, minty green pants. <laughs> These super glittery sneakers. Oh, wow. Yeah, this fur coat is totally giving us Barbie extra. This top, and it actually, the piece, these pieces are pretty detailed and nicely made. And again, never saw these Ella extra iconic dolls here in stores. But she is looking damn cute. Now, what is this little box? So it actually says Tiffany & Co. Okay, so this is a box just filled with accessory heaven. This is a head. I think it's a Dreamtopia head. Yes. No, definitely not Saran. <laughs> it has so many super fun items in here. Oh my gosh. Shoes and... Oh. I love these real little shoes you guys know these they come with like some really awesome shoes these roller skates are fantastic so these are like pastel rainbow roller skates and these actually look super cute on a curvy girl a little bit oversized but not distracting, you know? So, oh my God, these are super cute. <gasps> my head is probably totally shiny right now because I'm sweating. These Lori accessory packs are just super adorable. They come with so many fun, cute items. So this is the mix and bake set. Now just look at all of these super cute items. So it has like a toaster, it has a it has a mixing machine, it has cupcakes, it has a cake stand, it even has like a weigh device to weigh, you know, all your ingredients, which is important when you're baking. Even a piece of dough and pots and pans, a kettle. Too darn adorable. This is just tiny doll heaven. Real Little's Cutie Carriers. This is like a super cute purse with a pet inside. Oh my gosh, I need to open this right now. I cannot find my scissors anymore because my desk is completely covered in fashion. <laughs> no way, no way, this is too good too good too cute okay so this is like the mini purse with like little charms on it and inside is this super extra pet <laughs> with his heart-shaped glasses this pastel furry look that he <laughs> that he's sporting with his tutu what well, i'm saying he but it's probably what well, it could be a he you know he's just feeling extra yeah i love this little puppy and it reminds me so much of my own little dog posable pup oh. i'm dead okay so we're slowly going towards the bottom of the box so all of these mini brands and this is mini fashions series two see sometimes and i spend a lot of time on instagram and whatnot and still things go right past me. Mini Fashion Series 2 did not know that was already out. Okay, so inside are six Mini Fashion Series 2 balls and two of the mini toy ones. <sighs> I'm gonna save that for later. We still have this one. So it has a picture of Barbie on it. Lovely. Is it fashion? Oh, 
Oh, more Disney Princess fashion packs. Now the last ones you got me were so awesome. Oh my gosh. And I think these are pretty hard to find actually because I still don't know from which year this is because it doesn't say on the box, but I'm guessing sometime early 2000. So by the looks of it, this is definitely inspired by Sleeping Beauty. Wow. And look at this number. I want to say this is Jasmine, but I'm not sure. Who is rocking like super purple Disney princess fashion? It could be anyone actually. Whew. Now this was a accessory fashion haul. Really? And I still need to go through these mini fashion balls. <sighs> Here we go. Let's see. I am always so bad at opening these in a, you know, in a good way. See? I never get it in one go. <laughs> We're just gonna go full attack mode on this ball here. <laughs> one hour later. Ah, finally. Ooh. Ooh. So it even comes with this like travel trunk. Wow, that looks, that looks awesome. I wonder if there are more versions of that one. Okay. The booklet. I am totally excited to see what series two is all about. Oh, wow. There are some darn good purses in there. <gasps> okay, so the rare ones are a silver bag, a gold bag, and kind of like a heel-shaped bag, and a super rare uh, watch, actually. This comes with some amazingly cute items. Everything that is pink, I am loving. I love that Louis Vuitton inspired backpack, definitely. The little green bag. Um, oh my gosh, there are so many cute ones. Okay, so we have the silver travel trunk case. Let's see. Ooh, oh, a bouquet of flowers. Okay, I did not see that on the list. It's like actual, like that paper. I am obsessed already, and, well, we have five more to go through. Fingers crossed. Let's see if I can do it in one go. Concentrate. Almost. Maybe. Ooh. Okay. More bags than this one. I this is a cute bag. Yay! <gasps> so we have a cute little bubble tea drink. This one is a cute one. A sticker of the Louis Vuitton inspired backpack. Wait. Getting the list again. I think this is the super rare Watch. It is! Oh my gosh! I actually got, for the first time in my life, with a surprise feature thing, the super rarest of rarest of items of them all. I'm stunned. Okay, so this is like a really pretty, like, expensive little box, and it has this watch in it how freaking awesome i don't think you can actually use it on a doll or on a ken doll maybe but what a cute present to give to ken oh wow concentrate Okay, so I attacked this ball again, and let's go. Dive in. Ooh. Oh, wow. Now, this is a... I did not see this one on the list. So 
So this is like an orange leathery. I think it's very, probably gonna look very cute with some cute summer looks. Some, is this mascara? Oh, it is mascara, can you see it? And it actually functions. This wallet with, this is like a car key with like a wallet attached to it. I am so a big of a fan of this series. They create like the cutest items for dolls. Now wait. <laughs> okay, so again, I am a lucky person to have a rare item. This was also in the rare section, so let's see what's inside. Oh wow, it is a choker. So it actually has like this whole like pattern inside to fit the choker. Oh my, God, I am so freaking lucky. Finally. But then there's level two. Yeah. Almost. This is just so freaking fun. Oh, this is a cute one. These purses are just wow. There's even like this Chi Chu dog in here. <laughs> Looks so cute. I did not know that there even were some miniature pets in there. With a scarf that says mini fashion. Wow, look at that. I did not study like the catalog very well because still I am surprised at what's in here. This scarf and this chichu dog. She is just so well quaffed with a little golden bow in her hair. Look at that. Oh yes, I did. I need to check again. Okay, so this is my third rare item. Look at this freaking healed purse. The zipper actually works. This is, it came with this black bucket hat, these orange tic tacs, <laughs> and another like miniature wallet. I mean just look at it. With that chain it really finishes this whole super luxe Five. Last one, and I cannot believe the luck I have had with these ones. Oh my god, you guys. The white version of the Chichu dog. <laughs> or white, or should I say, like pastel beige and a red bow with glitters. A notebook in like teal with gold and it actually has pages in them. Oh, and red lipstick. <sighs> oh yes. The final purse is a super cute pink purse. Pink with like little pockets, a heart-shaped mir pocket mirror and a, a another little pouch for your car keys or spare change. Love this pink bag. Oh yes. And I am amazed that out of all of these balls I did not have a double. And I can check seriously three of the six rare items. Amazing. <gasps> Still have these two. Twisty pets. Cute. And this is like a dance mat 
piano. This is something that needs a little assembly. Oh, I think it's like a little toy uh, cash register. Okay. Next, what is this? This is the animal, some kind of like monster truck thing. Not really my category. And the last one, which is a angry bird, <laughs> little angry bird racer. <sighs> Number two. <sighs> okay, let's see. Oh, another assembly required thing. Let's see what this turns out to be. And it's a little safe in pink. So that's cute. Next one, which is a pet rescue surprise ball and another twisty pets. So in the final ball, I finally get a double and a little pet shop adorable tiny man i don't know what he is he looks like a tiny little sloth but i don't know he's very adorable last one which is a transformers set cute <laughs> so that pretty much covers the box that andrew sent filled with lovely accessories, tons of fashion. It is just so much tiny stuff. My desk is completely a pile of stuff right now. <sighs> oh my gosh. Thank you, Andrew, so much for injecting this fashion accessory haul into my doll closet. I am so happy. It just, I immediately get like a shot of uh, inspiration. Um, so nice. And it really from the bottom of my heart, this, this, as a thank you for making these videos for you guys is just really my cherry on top. The attention, the love, the detail, this is really what keeps me going for real. I'm giving you guys a nice little overlook of what I all got. And I mean, let's just thank Andrew in the comments. And he definitely made sure to keep my lookbooks going.
Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And of course, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified by any new videos that I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram at Barbie Nation. That's usually where I post all of my updates. And until the next video, mwah, big kisses from me. Thank you so much, Andrew. And I love you all.